Um, hi folks, I'm Councilman Isaac Barone from Las Vegas. I'm the Councilman for Ward 1 um, there in Las Vegas. But um, in my day job, I'm also a high school teacher at Rancho High School. <laughs> Describe how the novel COVID-19 nursing homes and then, um, uh, uh, and then um, um, rehabilitation centers. We asked to three centers uh, that, uh, that serve this population. And by the way, in this valley, there's over 5,000 beds. That are available. So there's five times as many people in these facilities. And like Deanna pointed out, they were kind of like overlooked. And when, when, when I checked the three largest ones in North Las Vegas, two of them were totally out of PPEs, and one was down to his last box of 20 masks. And of course, um, here there, there's a little bit of a veteran tilt. Many of the people in there, are, of course, are veterans. And so we were able, luckily, to uh, shift some of, some of our emergency resources to, to, to provide some things. And, and uh, I was very happy that, that we had that, to, to have a nice uh, line of communication with our medical providers. But um, in particular, the other thing that's been happening uh, a lot is uh, because this is also an economic crisis. Again, people in our community, uh, they didn't, because the economic boom did, was not equally distributed, people in our community, they didn't have two and three months worth of savings uh, all built up. They were living paycheck to paycheck anyhow before this. And so they were the very first ones to get laid off for the most part because such a high percentage of, of our population um, works in the service industry. They all got laid off. So right away, people were at risk of, li of, li of losing uh, the place where they're there. They're, they're, and that was a huge fear, and it still is. So uh, even though the uh, governor, he closed down all of the courts, uh, as uh, our, our judicial candidate uh, pointed out, um, we still have some landowners who are acting kind of recklessly. And I understand, they have bills to pay too. We're talking about a public health crisis. This is real. My own godmother died. She passed away. She was like the second person in the valley to pass away from this. Uh, when I called home to a family, one of my students' uh, sisters, she came down, and she's only, she's only uh, 19 years old. She had to be hospitalized, and the whole family is on, uh, is on quarantine now. This is real. It's, it's, in our, it's, our, it's in our community, and this is a public health disaster. So even you know, so um, we still have a few landowners who um, they're taking it upon themselves to try to at this point um, unauthorize evictions in our community, and so it, it becomes such a, a, an issue in North Las Vegas with uh, these uh, landlords who are acting really. They're not thinking of the community first, and, and everyone has to. Uh, everyone's going to get hit. Everyone's going to ha have to have a sacrifice here. Mm -hmm. But some of them are acting unlawfully, and we're trying to serve their <laughs> their, their, their tenants with with not lawful uh, eviction notices. And so we had to crack down in North Las Vegas. But I think we're the first city, and I, I think the only one so far, to crack down on these unlawful acting uh, uh, um, uh, landlords. Well, we're threatening them with fines up to a thousand dollars, and possibly even a misdemeanor charge against them, right? Just because we have to have people. You know, in the home, we don't need more homeless people. Uh, we certainly don't need any veterans, any more veterans who are homeless. And we certainly don't need uh, families to have to double or even triple up, because that gets counter to what we wanted to, uh, in the social distancing anyhow. Because that's what will happen in our communities. If, 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 my, brother, uh, if my brother knows that, uh, I've, that I've been kicked out of my house, he'll just tell me to go ahead and, and bring the wife and the kids over, and all of a sudden we have two, maybe even three families living together in one place, and that's not what we wanted. So. Everything that's negative, everything that's been, you know, challenging, that's what's happening in North Las Vegas. But at the same time, we have fantastic groups that are coming together to provide masks. And they're, they're donating masks. They're providing food for people, right? And um, I think we have, uh, 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 even though um, the, um, we, we can only get things two ways, but I think uh, on the positive note, we have lots of people in our community in North Las Vegas and throughout the entire valley who are coming together. And that's a, a really high, uh, that's actually a very high point uh, in, in the book. And these negative times and these really desperate times, 
we see who people really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to see that we have lots of people who are community-minded and they're doing everything they can to, to help their, their fellow human beings. What can Nevadans do to help residents in North Las Vegas and especially Ward 1? Um, again, I think it, uh, uh, I'll just be reiterating for the most part, reach out to your neighbors. Reach out to the people you know. Reach out to the people who you know are at risk. And some of them, of course, you know, you will go out places and people were not wearing masks, okay? Um, reach out to them. Try to, try, you know, don't shove things down their throat. People have beliefs. And we have to respect that. But reach out to them, check to see if they're okay. Perhaps they just don't realize, you know, that, that they can uh, very easily protect themselves and that they can protect others by taking a very simple me measure, like to wear a mask. This one was donated to me when I went to one of the, uh, one of the nursing homes. Um, a, a group found out that they had nothing and gave these uh, a whole box full, and they gave me one when I, went, when I showed up. And I have a, a coffee filter in here that I'm using as a disposable filter. So after I get out of here, I'll go home and wash the water and then throw away the, uh, the, um, the little uh, coffee filter and I'll put in a fresh one. So reach out to your fellow human beings. Educate them. Encourage them to wear the mask. If you're a volunteer, remember, we can't go out there and volunteer in large numbers anymore because, of course, that's getting away from the social distancing. What we can do is if, if you're able to make somebody a mask, there's lots of places that if you reach out, they'll give you a, a, a uh, uh, they'll give you um, uh, people who are accepting these to to, uh, to be able to profit them. One other thing, um, I was going to ask people. Uh, one thing that uh, that people can do, and this is, 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 it seems like a very non a, a very uh, co uh, common sense, but it's not being practiced. As someone else pointed out, if you wear gloves like I do to go to the store. If you wear the mask, especially the disposable ones, please put them, dispose them properly. Yeah. Don't just leave them in the, in the, in the parking lot. Yeah. You see a lot of that. It's all, it's all over the place. Okay. Someone's got to pick those up. And that's not very, I mean, that's, that's kind of nasty. There's receptacles, you know, in, in many of the, the, the parking lots uh, of these uh, food stores. Please dispose them there, you know. Uh, dispose them there. Don't leave them laying around. Uh, we're talking about that's going to be another crisis that we're going to have to face. The, you know, a pollution crisis. Um, the last thing, also, um, there's been uh, several like protests here in town where people will get protests. And hey, I'm the, I'm the kind of person I believe that everyone should have their views seen. That's an American thing. Protest. Our country was built on protest. Boston Tea Party, all that. But I would say, please protest responsibly. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be part of a caravan, please respect the uh, uh, the traffic laws. Just the other day, uh, on a personal note, I nearly got whacked by some guy who was driving way too fast, trying to catch up to the rest of the caravan. He ran red light. Again, please protest. If you, if you want to protest, protest. I will never tell you, don't do it. Do it, but please be responsible. Yeah. Think of others. Think of yourself. So uh, uh, again, everything just be thoughtful to, to everyone else. We're good. Uh, we're together. We're gonna get through this. And last question: Share some uh, words of encouragement with uh, residents of North Las Vegas. Yeah, I, I would say uh, again in these dark times, these are the time we find out who we really are personally, who your neighbor is, who the people in our, in our community are. And I, I really do think there's lots of people who are willing to help. Not everybody has the answers, you know. Uh, at the city of North Vegas, we do our very best to have the, uh, the answers we, that, that we can get. We don't have all the answers either. A lot of the stuff, we're figuring it out. If you do need help, and if you have an español, you can go to the city of North Vegas .com. We have a COVID-19 uh, 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 drop-down menu. And there's two sides of it. A business, for, for all our friends who are in business, and Things are looking kind of bad for you. We have a, a business resource side, and of course we have a, a, a protection side, right? They have a whole list of resources. It's in English and in Spanish. There's lots of people in our community who want to help you. They're going to try to help you, and please help each other out. I, 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 I'm the eternal optimist. If you're, a, if you're a high school teacher, you would have to be an optimist, right? <laughs> I'm an optimist, and I do believe that, you know, everyone working together, we're going to get through this. 
And it, we, we do see it because an amazing gesture of generosity and compassion for fellow human beings are being displayed. It just, you know, those are not the sexy stories. So we don't always see those, you know, being portrayed in the media, but they're there. And um, please reach out. You can reach out to me at the City of Las Vegas, or you could just go to thecityofnohavegas.com. And if not, you know, I mean, there's lots of other resources. Just, uh, all you have to do is just hunt around a little bit. Thank you so very much. Thank you.